I looked up and I saw all those people looking at me and I burst out crying because why are you looking at me? <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to up on it so today's video is going to be about public speaking my top tips for how to feel comfortable and confident when you're speaking in public if you get a bit anxious if you get a bit nervous if you actually just want to avoid it altogether if you're a little bit introverted here are my top tips for how to get through public speaking and public speaking is this really interesting thing because a lot of people associate it with being an extroverted character like if you're a good at being big and loud and you're going to be a, big, a good public speaker that's not the case at all um, I am in my real life um, outside of work if I just walk into a room and I don't know anybody and everybody's a stranger um, I might go and build relationships one by one but I'm definitely not going to be the centre of attention look at me everybody I'm not extroverted in that way in my real life I can actually be super reserved and super like observing and be in the corner and watching people before I engage I'm not one to throw in the middle and just be like ah, that's not my personality type and people find that surprising but it's that's that's the truth first time guys that I stood in public to speak I was about four or five years old this is a true story okay we were doing a Sunday school presentation I had just like five words to say from some memory verse I knew what I was gonna say I looked up and I saw all those people looking at me and I burst out crying because why are you looking at me like I just felt the nerves and just like I just wanted to run away and hide and I literally cried I think I said a few words and I literally ran to my mother so for those of you guys who <laughs> think that you just are born you know yeah I can do it and I feel confident that's not the case it's been years of actually actively practicing and getting better and I hope that's encouraging for someone that if you haven't started um, by feeling comfortable about public speaking that you can actually get really comfortable and confident speaking in public. So the first thing I would say is of course preparing as much as you can and not just kind of reading over your notes, standing in front of a mirror, if it's something that you can um, practice in front of a mirror absolutely do that and do it until you feel comfortable and confident that you can just say it off the top of your head. I think sometimes when you don't prepare as well for something you panic but from the prepare the practice so you can practice with somebody get someone to listen to you if you don't find that too awkward or video yourself if you don't want to see anyone video yourself saying it and then watch yourself back or listen if you want to see yourself then record your voice um, and then listen to it back so that you can hear what you sound like and you can see how you can make those improvements going forward so the next tip is when you actually know who it is that you're speaking for so this could be either before you get to the place if you don't know necessarily the crowd or as you're preparing is observation and thinking about who's in the room or who's going to be in the room so this for me is like where it really changed the game for me because I was able to think okay who's going to be in the room what kind of thing would they want to hear how am I going to deliver what I'm going to say am I going to be funny am I going to be sincere am I going to be direct so how am I going to communicate that based on who's in the room and I think once you make that observation about who's in the room and how that can help you deliver I think that to me was a game changer the next thing following on from that is connection so when you're in the room connection like this to me this is my little secret okay I try to connect with people in the room so anyone who's ever seen me speak in the public you'll know that I tend to ask questions in the beginning so I'll ask general questions or ask people to put their hands up about something or try to get people to know people on a personal level so I might say something personal about myself or I might ask people in the crowd to engage in some way and I think that creates a kind of bond and a kind of connection so you're not just standing in front of someone talking at them um, and so for me building a connection as soon as you start speaking is important so that can be again a personal story or asking a question um, or engaging with some people in the crowd getting people to put their hands up and I think that creates like a really good connection and I think that is actually the game changer if people can feel like they can relate to you and they can connect to you they're more likely to listen to you and they're more likely to react to you which will help you relax a lot more. Use what you have. If you're an emotive person feel free to use that if you're funny. So depending on where I'm speaking or what I'm speaking about I will bring in social commentary. I will talk about stuff that I've seen on the Shane Room if it's relevant. I will try to use humour 
which is what I would what I have to be able to break through I can use emotion to try and break through I will have anecdotes about things to try and break through so all these little tools that you can have stories that you can tell that you can use in your own way to kind of make that emotive connection I think definitely do that because people relax more when they, they feel like they can trust you they're safe you're gonna make them laugh they can you know listen and follow your story and I think using that I think is a really powerful tool also if it's like an academic piece of work right if you're delivering something that you can't really be emotive you can always still present it in your own way so I remember when I used to be in seminars at university and you have to do like group presentations and I used to dread them because I used to have people who were just you know the ones just so annoying in those seminars um, and I used to be put off with them and I realized that they used a lot of facts and they used a very direct which is all fine but it was a bit kind of like ugh. so when I would present I started using my personality a lot more um, and started making it more, more relatable and more conversational so once you find your personal style I think it's easier then to communicate so whether that's humor whether that's being direct whether that's being emotive whatever your personal style is conversational once you kind of tap into that and practice that more it's easier for you to be able to adapt that in any environment whether you are delivering a piece of academic work or you are doing a talk to your peers or you are doing a you know professional talk whatever it is you can adapt it to fit your style so that you can connect with your audience I think sometimes in a smaller crowd you fear the the fact that you, they can actually see you and it's more intimate but actually use that intimacy to your advantage that's actually where you can build relationship as you're talking in public so always think of public speaking as relationship building like I'm just building a relationship and I'm building a rapport with the people that I'm speaking to one thing that's really important is pace so if you're like me and you speak really fast sometimes sometimes I genuinely feel like my brain is going really fast and my mouth is trying to catch up when it comes to certain things and I think that sometimes you have to remind yourself to slow it down because when you speak really fast you can trip over your words think about what you're saying as you're saying it or before you say it um, and I think that will help you even out what you're saying and make sure that the things that you are talking about are all connecting together as opposed to just kind of bleh. I think sometimes when you get nervous you just want to spit everything out um, but actually Actually, the control and the discipline is slowing it down so that you can think as you're speaking and making sure that it's measured and that making sure that you have good pace and that people can really hear and connect with what you're saying. Another thing is posture. So if you are somebody who naturally crosses their arms um, you have to remember to engage your body so I genuinely have to stand there and think right uncross your legs put your shoulders back lift up your head and like you know stand in a way that shows people that you know you've come to be on say the situation you need to make sure that you engage your body and I think that helps so much people laugh at power stances and power poses but actually it actually does work sometimes when you consciously engage your body and say you know what this is what we're gonna what we're doing here today get in alignment with what I'm doing today it will work and yeah you might trip over your words and you might still sound a little bit nervous but the more you do that the better you will be also remember that Beyonce gets nervous and I genuinely remember she said one time that there's a way to use your nerves for good and I think that that is so true I think that there's a way that you when you practice you can channel your nerves into actually something really positive it's all about saying to yourself what I have to say is important what I'm about to do is important I control my narrative and how I want to deliver it and I'm going to harness this nervousness and I'm going to charge it into my personality and make a connection with you you're going to listen to what I'm going to say and you're going to like it and I think that actually if you feel nervous that's actually normal and that should not stop you from doing it um because public speaking is a very courageous thing to do it's not it's not always easy like I've had some challenge I've spoken in front of some tough crowds and all of them have been able to give me skills that I can actually build on so in summary prepare as much as you possibly can practice by recording yourself and listening to yourself observe the crowd or before you before you get there ask who's going to be in the room and um, when you're there observe who's there um, make sure that you are making a good connection so building that relationship building that rapport whether that be using a sense of humor using a personal story or an anecdote and then making sure that you are doing it in your own style like make sure that it sounds like you remember that you know your story and you know what you want to do better than anybody else in that room and you owe it to yourself to be able to deliver in the way that you want to deliver um, and you owe it 
to yourself to be able to say do you know what I did what I came here to do and yes it may not have been perfect the first time my favorite phrase at the moment is it may not always be good but there's something good in it so the more you practice little by little volunteer to be part of debate societies go and join toastmaster groups so you can practice speaking in public and practice sharing your opinion i think once you realize you have something important to say you will feel more comfortable sharing it it's all about relationship building it's all about how you deliver what you're saying and therefore anyone can be a good public speaker so that's it for this week's video guys i will see you soon make sure you follow me on all my social media everything is up on it careers follow me slide in my dms email me um and message me if you have any questions bye guys